Harassment accusations continue to fly tonight against lawmakers and celebrities, and the list is now growing. Longtime TV host Ryan Seacrest is the latest person to be named by an accuser. CBS 13's Angela Greenwood joins us in the newsroom now with the developing details. Angela? Christina and Tony, the allegations are coming from one of Seacrest's former stylists, and today he did release a statement denying any claims of inappropriate behavior. Meanwhile, sexual misconduct allegations against President Trump are also back in the spotlight. Right here, Ryan. Ryan Seacrest is the latest A-list celebrity in a rapidly growing list of Hollywood heavyweights accused of sexual misconduct. The alleged incident happened 10 years ago during his time at E! News. His accuser, a former stylist there who claims Seacrest acted inappropriately toward her, although there are no details of what that behavior was. A source also says the woman asked for financial compensation in exchange for silence. In a statement today, Seacrest said in part, quote, if I made her feel anything but respected, I am truly sorry. I dispute these reckless allegations and I plan to cooperate with any corporate inquiries that may result. I treat all my colleagues with kindness, dignity and understanding as this is a principle that's core to who I am. How is this different? Meanwhile, there are new questions about sexual misconduct allegations against President Trump after he took aim at Democratic Senator Al Franken on Twitter. Franken is accused of groping and kissing a woman without consent more than 10 years ago, around the very same time Mr. Trump was also caught talking about groping women on a Hollywood tape. Also, during the 2016 campaign, more than a dozen women, including Jessica Leeds, came forward to accuse then-candidate Trump of misconduct. It was a real shock when all of a sudden his hands were all over me. The Trump campaign denied all claims, and today White House spokeswoman Sarah Huckabee Sanders says there's a big difference between Senator Franken and President Trump. Senator Franken has admitted wrongdoing, and the president hasn't. I think that's a very clear distinction. Now, the president, meanwhile, has not personally commented on Alabama's Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore, who was accused of sexual misconduct against minors. The White House, though, has officially stated that Moore should drop out if those allegations are true. Meanwhile, E! News, we've learned, has now opened an investigation into the allegations against Ryan Seacrest. We'll see where it goes, Angela. Thanks. Meanwhile, the